Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 39th episode of this series and today we have Pranav here with us who has been recently placed at British Telecom as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all the students belonging to computer science, IT and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 8 or 80% in their 10th, 12th and a CGP of 7 or 70% in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Pranav and understand his experience interviewing for this company. Hi Pranav, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yes, yes. Thank you Jishnu for having me here. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Pranav Kumar Pathak, a recent graduate from uh, Vellore Institute of Technology, Chennai. And during my studies, I built a strong uh, background in areas like machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing. And I've also developed a solid foundation in data structures and algorithms uh, using C++. And recently, I was interviewed at BT Group, which I, uh, uh, where I showed my skills and project experiences. And I'm excited to share and uh, uh, share you my experience and that led to my selection there. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you Thank cannot you. tell us about the uh, placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, sure. Uh, so basically on 23rd of uh, September, BT Group uh, came in our college and we were uh, said that we have to uh, apply it on Neop Neopad portal which we have for the college and on 26th we have our first uh, OA that comprises of like 26 MCQs and plus two coding questions so the MCQs were like mm, of DBMS, OS, CN and OOPS basically uh, and the two coding questions were like uh, hard to me uh, medium to hard like both both of them are medium to hard mm -hmm. and I was able to do both of the both the questions uh, and the time limit was like 1 hour 30 minutes. So I was able to complete my test uh, within 1 hour 30 minutes. Uh, and then I was eagerly waiting for the shortlist that when will the short shortlist come. So at night around 10 o'clock or 10.30, uh, an email came like in personal that uh, you are shortlisted for the interviews. Uh, so my interview schedule for the next day. Uh, okay. Basically, uh, everyone uh, who, was, who was eligible for the uh, like the criteria like CGPA criteria and everything everyone got a chance to give the uh, give the uh, OA online assessment uh, and around 23 24 people got selected after that for interviews okay. so next day yeah so my first round uh, basically they asked me three coding questions like one was KF largest element in an array uh, and one was uh, based on stacks and queues and was was uh, level level order traversal Okay. They asked me uh, these three questions and I was able to uh, tell uh, two questions completely. Hmm. And third third question, I was able to just tell the gist of the question and like, explain that how will I uh, do it. Okay. Uh, and they asked me a uh, whole, uh, whole oops concept. Like, and they even asked me about runtime polymorphism and compile time polymorphism hmm. uh, and examples in that. Hmm. Uh, and after that, they asked me uh, uh, two puzzles. Uh, I was able to do, uh, do one puzzle. Uh, and they asked me one aptitude question. That was very quite easy. I, I was able to do it. Okay. Uh, that uh, first interview was like uh, of around 50 to 55 minutes. Hmm. And then uh, I got a mail that uh, I'm eligible for the second interview. A second interview was quite chill. Uh, the interview uh, made me very comfortable with uh, with everything so he asked me like machine learning questions a resume based question they asked me and mm -hmm. the second technical mm -hmm. like very deep deep knowledge of uh, your uh, my projects and even my internship uh, i have done my internship in crh industrials okay. uh, which is a uh, child company of fiat mm -hmm. okay so they asked me questions from that also mm -hmm. uh, yes and uh, after that they asked me one coding question uh, i have to uh, share my screen i have to do it so mm -hmm. I, I did that Mm. successfully okay. uh, and that was my second technical it was very very smooth mm. uh, and after around 1.5 hours or 2 hours after, uh, later I got a mail from uh, BT group that I have my HR interview scheduled okay. so in HR uh, interview 
they ask me basic questions like where do you want to see yourself in 5 years mm-hmm. why do you want to join bt like mm-hmm. they ask me about history of bt and why uh, why i am very fascinated about bt mm-hmm. and everything like that only so mm-hmm. that was very great, great experience like it went for like 25 to 30 minutes also mm-hmm. and the the chat told me that my interview will be uh, my results will come uh, that night or the next morning okay so i was waiting after that that uh, when will my result come and uh, around 9:45 or 10 pm my results came and yeah there were only four people those who got shortlisted in bd this year oh okay okay that's great congratulations again and thank you so much for sharing your experience and thank you thank you yeah do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share uh yeah sure uh, actually my cgpa was quite low so uh, it was like you have to i have to do dsa very very nicely and very strong i have mm. to have very uh, nice grip on dsa and even all the core subjects mm. so i did i started my dsa doing last year uh, in starting of december okay i was very regular in dsa and mm. in all the course sub- i i just did my all the four core core subjects like osc and dbms and oops mm. all four i did uh, in this semester only mm-hmm. uh, uh any suggestions like if you if you can do your cgpa above 9 that's wonderful mm-hmm. but at least you can have your cgpa above 8.5 mm-hmm. it will be a great criteria for for everyone mm-hmm. and you have to have great knowledge of dsa like uh, you cannot do it in one day or one night mm-hmm. you cannot do it in one semester mm-hmm. it needs practice you have to do it right it's right. like this yes okay that's great thank you so much again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions i'm sure they're going to help many people and yeah thank you so much thank you thank you thank you all for watching please do like share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next